Hey Hardscapers, it's Kevin here with Hardscape Training Canada. And I want to show you and take a look at a whole bunch of different options for permeable surfaces. And what I feel is really the next evolution of our trade. So being able to get water to actually drain through surfaces, potentially being able to store it and use it for irrigation, or even just infiltrating it back into the ground to replenish the local water table. Let's take a look. So we're gonna look at some products from Romex. Uh, they're really leading the way in terms of different products for like binding gravel and creating some permeable surfaces. And we're also just gonna take a quick step back and look at what an open graded base even means. So that's what we're typically gonna use with this clear crushed gravel to create a base that we can set pavers on or any other kind of permeable surface. Uh, we have to get comfortable using some geotech cloth or filter cloth as well. So we wanna keep some layers separate, keep the gravel nice and clean from any soil. And let's take a close look at a quick install for permeable base system here. So using some three quarter clear crush, you can even do an upsize for the base couple layers. Uh, we're gonna start to fill in and compact. It's just a test sample. So I'm using a hand tamper just to show you. And uh, obviously you'd wanna use some bigger uh, compaction equipment as well as compact the subgrade before we get too carried away. Um, and we're gonna compact this in layers just like we would a standard road base. And the angular gravel is actually gonna to lock together quite nicely and give us those compaction values that we need for surfaces. You can see the drain pipe that I added in as kind of an overflow to this system. So you might set it at a specific height. So you want to allow water to infiltrate into the ground, but also we wanna be able to carry away any excess water, right? And add it to our drainage system. And just take a close look at how quickly water will actually move through this open graded base system. So if you're using like a permeable paver, like an aqua pave or something similar, there's a bunch of different products out there, the jointing material will be like a larger aggregate, not our typical sand. And it's gonna allow water to infiltrate through quite quickly. And the opposition to that is our standard road base prep, which you can see like all those, those little voids sort of get filled up with a smaller and smaller aggregate that's in a road base material. So this way with the open graded base, we allow room for that water to move through. And we might think about even uh, using products like City Green has, where we can actually store water and potentially even use it for irrigation, stuff like that. So let's take a look at some jointing material now. So this would be a surface treatment, um, ideally on top of an open graded base. Uh, this is gonna allow water to actually infiltrate through some of the joints. Um, I'm using a pretty large format bluestone paver here. So there's not actually a lot of joints at the end of the day. So I'm definitely sloping this walkway anyway, uh, but it is nice to have the option of using this type of jointing. Um, and it gets really, really hard once it sets up and it's permeable. Um, and it's just a little bit more sturdy than a standard polymeric sand or just a jointing sand. So it's really the best of both worlds. Um, in this application, I set these pavers on um, a bedding material, so not in mortar and using this sort of jointing that can flex a little bit and, uh, and can be swept in place uh, is it's definitely the most efficient way to go. So really simple, just sweeping it in, uh, tooling it off, and then sweeping off the excess, making sure that we just pre-wet it quickly first. A really nice result. And for more of a natural cleft blue stone here, I wanna show you in real time how the water actually will permeate through the jointing. So you might have a sort of a tricky situation on a project where it's really difficult to get slope out or you might not want to add a drain. Um, if it's away from the house, it might be relatively safe. Uh, so you might consider using an open graded base system and this jointing material to sort of help solve a problem as well as uh, get water to infiltrate in through the actual surface. And it also creates a really hard joint. So we'll be able to pressure wash and actually clean everything off nicely after too, which is really nice. So a big step up from regular polymeric sand, and especially for those set in aggregate applications where a classic sort of jointing mortar doesn't make sense because it'll crack. So this is just a small can of the same product I just used, Rompox Easy, and you just sort of pour it out, sweep it in place. You don't want to compact it too much, so the more you sort of compact it and tool it off, the less 
permeable it becomes. Uh, it'll still be permeable, but it just sort of fills in those gaps a little more. Uh, but even without that, so not tooling it off and just sweeping it off, the joint actually hardens up really, really nice. and gets super solid. Uh, plus this nice sandy color just looks really good. I threw some river rock in here just for a little bit of added something and uh, to give us some contrast to the, the bluestone. We can see how it acts. So this is after 24 hours, the joint is like rock solid. So no movement, it actually feels really hard. And uh, yeah, you can definitely tell that it'll hold up to a pressure washer quite nicely. Now let's take a close look at the permeability of it once again, you get a couple good slow-mos here. So apart from this, uh, the same company, Romex, has some really, really strong product as well. So you can use what's called a truss bed. It's basically a, a specialized concrete. Um, and then they have a special bonding agent and a nutrient that you can use to bond to it. So that'll create really, really strong permeable surfaces. You can also bind gravel, uh, do a whole bunch of fun stuff. So definitely check them out. And I'll see you next time.